These are some of my favourite portable tape recorders. Uh, this is a mixture between the EMI L2A, B and C, which are the three at the back, and the two front ones are RE321s. The two front ones are transistorized, and the three rear ones are valved. Uh, the difference between the A, B and C is the speeds. One runs at three and three quarters, one runs at seven and a half, and the other runs at fifteen. But the Series C has also got a pilot tone uh, for syncing it with uh, film and other broadcast equipment. The recorder is a two-headed system, but not like a normal standard two-headed system. What you've got is you've got the replay head, and you've got the record head, not an erase head. Um, there's no erase system on this machine, so to do recording on it, it has to be brand new tape. If you use old tape on it, or tape that's been recorded on, uh, you will get uh, sound on sound with this machine. The controls are very simple. Replay, record, that engages the motion, if there was batteries in this, that would start it to play. And then, to rewind the tape, you pull out a small arm at the top, press this button, and you turn that arm, which on this one it's pretty seized up, so that means stripping down and cleaning out. Inside the recorder, we've got a set of battery terminals, for two 67 and a half volt batteries or HT batteries and then a battery compartment which will hold eight D-type cells. Another early British tape recorder quite often for, uh, mistaken with EMI is this reporter made by a company called Boosie and Hawks. Uh, the reporter was crank driven for the main motor. You have a small compartment either side of the machine On one side contains a microphone and a very crude method of rewinding the tape. And on the other side you have a loudspeaker. An unusual pocket recorder is the Minifom. Unlike all the other tape recorders, this one's a pocket wire recorder. That's just a piece of lead on string, but the wire on these uh, particular machines is a lot finer than the uh, standard Chicago Webster machines. The recorder was designed to be pocket sized, although it is quite a large uh, machine. It also came with uh, certain spy gear, for instance, a, you could purchase a watch which had a built-in microphone hidden behind it. Ficord had a strong uh, connection with Stellavox, but before uh, they got involved with their recorders, they did make a few of their own. This is the 101, which takes very small, tiny little reels, and then they brought out... These, these size of reels are really too short, too... Um, do anything useful with them so they brought out a slightly larger version taking three inch reels by which time the most standardized reel used was the five inch so both of these machines became quite obsolete very quickly. Phono Tricks were another company for making small miniature tape recorders. This particular one here was used quite frequently in different designs of their machines. It also appeared in the Clarion recorder this one though was one of their special ones. The recorder takes specialised uh, two inch reels which you got a larger centre than the normal um, than the normal cine centre. You can put an adapter on those reels and fit them to a standardised tape recorder. Uh, this one was sold as being a recorder that fits in the palm of your hand. Probably one of the most popularist versatile tape recorders put in the portable range would be the UHERS. We've got three different versions here uh, going through the years from the early report stereo, the 4200, the 4200 IC and the 4200 monitor. Um, between the stereo and the IC there's very little difference apart from the electronics. Where on the third one it's a three head system so monitoring is capable. Also on the three head system you can watch the um, audio levels on replay as well as re uh, record on the other ones you can only watch them in record mode. 
Sony had their own professional range of tape recorders as well as their domestic. These two are domestic recorders. Uh, the one to the left, the TC800, um, was known for the White House scandal and the smaller one to the right, nothing particularly too special about that. Nagra tape recorders, as in featured in a previous video of mine, are considered to be the Rolls Royce of the tape recorder world. Uh, nobody could make a recorder that quite matched the quality, sound quality of a Nagra. Companies like Sony and Ampex did try, uh, but it didn't come anywhere close. The rival to them only was people like Yuha, and that's because the machines were so much cheaper and a little bit more versatile, but almost all the machines, apart from a select few models, lacked things such as Synchropulse or um, any kind of timecode system. Quite often, like laptops today, you get a machine that's made by another company, but uh, branded as somebody else. For instance, we saw the phone of tricks before, with the same style deck. Uh, this machine's a phone tricks, tricks except relabeled as a clarion. This one here, the transicorder, uh, is a copy machine, well it is a uh, Panasonic with a transicorder by bad logo on it. This one's a docorder. Uh, docorder is still going under the name of Onkyo, which is a Japanese firm uh, making sort of high quality machinery. The recorder is very compact, built in speaker, easy to use controls, takes four AA batteries and basically it's quite uh, quite compact compared to the machines of its this day. This is the first portable tape recorder I ever got. Uh, this is badged Philips. These machines did come as Philips, Pi, or uh, Stellaphone and Cossa. The recorder mounts up to three inch reels on the top of the machine. These are, uh, these are two and a half inch. Uh, simple controls, fast forward, rewind, play and stop. You press the key down to engage and you push it backwards to unengage. On the mains driven side, uh, professional market, there were other portables such as this monster. Uh, they did actually use the word portable in the manual. This three unit box, the left amplifier, tape recorder and right amplifier is deemed to be a professional portable tape recorder. On the lower budget range there is this machine which is also a stereo, uh, one motor system this is a EMI TR52, which is the same as the RE301, which was featured in the video before. 